Welcome, you want to know how to change the country and region settings in Netflix? Then you found the right video. I'm going to show you how to do this easily. But accessing other country Netflix versions cost you a little bit for a special internet service. So let's go into it. First of all, websites see your location and your system and everything. So basically, you cannot tell Netflix that you are in a different country and you cannot just choose a country you want. The bosses of the big media companies still buy and sell rights by country and not by language or other measures. So if you are in a specific country, you cannot just watch a different country's Netflix. And if you're in Portugal, for example, Lisbon is a very popular place for expats. Well, in general, Portugal is very nice, but if you are in Portugal, no matter what Netflix account you have. So if you have a US Netflix account and you go to Portugal, guess what? You only have 540 movies on offer and probably some of them are Portuguese. In the US you have 4,400 and TV shows in Portugal you have 220 and in the US you have 1330 and of course some of those 220 will be probably also just Portuguese TV shows and of course you have exclusive content so there's some content well a lot of content in the US Netflix the American Netflix version which you don't get in other countries but you also have exclusive content in the UK Netflix, in Australian Netflix, Canadian Netflix, Mexican Netflix. Some people like to watch the Japanese Netflix because of the hentai stuff. I'm sure there are some fans of the Chinese Netflix and also the Indian. You know, if you're into Bollywood movies, probably the Indian Netflix has the most to offer. Or if you're into French movies, the French Netflix probably has much more to offer than the US. So depending on which country you're in, you can watch the specific uh, Netflix versions, but it does not really matter where you got your account. It depends on which country you're entering the internet in. So below I have a list of some services. Basically, it's a global internet service provider service and internet encryption for privacy, but I will talk about this later. Just go below, click on show more. And here you can also uh, already see ExpressVPN is my favorite and I'm going to show you how I'm using it. And if you're using a mobile phone or tablet, you can go below the video on the right, there's an icon and then you can see the description with all the links. So basically you can use your existing Netflix account if you have one and you can use any country version. But the problem is if you're in a different country, if you're in the US, you would see here in the um, address field of your browser, just netflix.com. But now here you see CH stands for Switzerland and here at the moment I have the French version. So now I'm having the French version of the Swiss Netflix. Well, now I changed it to English and this is because at the moment I'm logged in through Zurich. So um, that's why I get the Swiss Netflix version there. I'm not logging in to all the countries. I just want to show you how to change the country location. So here, for example, now if I would want to use the UK Netflix, I can just click on United Kingdom here. But I want to show you because many people do have this problem that maybe if you just click on this one, uh, it automatically selects the UK Docklands server but maybe since everyone's using this one it is not working so well so why not go with Kent for example and now it's reconnecting and this encrypts my whole internet between my computer and the server in the UK in Kent so basically ExpressVPN is my international internet service provider with which I can use any country internet I want. And now if I check my IP, you could you can do the same, just go uh, Google show my IP or something like that. And they there are many services doing, uh, providing you the IP. So this is my new IP and it says country, United Kingdom, 
England city Maidstone. And now if I try to reload this page, let's see. See, now it says Great Britain here. So now I could use the Great Britain version of Netflix. So let's do another country. And um, what should we choose? Let's go to Asia. Shall we use the, let's try Japanese. So now I'm just clicking on Japan, but yeah, I could choose different server locations there. And now it's reconnecting. No, now I have to reconnect to Japan. Now I'm connecting to Tokyo as it seems, but as I showed you before, I could choose different locations. So there are three locations in Tokyo and one in Yoko, Yokohama. Let's check my IP again. Not sure if you're interested in this, but it shows you that, yeah, like other websites, they see, oh, actually now it's Singapore, which is kind of strange. It should be Japan. Let's see what happens. So yeah, like maybe um, they mixed up something, but um, no, actually, so this website seems to be wrong. And here you see, I have the Japanese Netflix in English language. So this is how easy it is with ExpressVPN. And below in the description, I have a link directly to ExpressVPN. And I also have the prices of the different VPNs, but be aware those are, of course, if you take a longer package. But the good thing with ExpressVPN is that they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you take the 12 months package with a cheapest price, then if it's not working for you, you can get your money back anyway. So the advantage of VPNs in general, actually I have videos where I ex explain how VPNs work and why they are legal. And basically the main reason to use a VPN is actually security and privacy because your whole internet is suddenly encrypted. You probably know your browser has a browser history you can empty but it's much more difficult and most people never empty the browsing history on their router, on your internet router at home. But then also your internet service provider is keeping records of your internet activity and then public Wi-Fi, hotel Wi-Fi's, they can be dangerous. So it's much safer if you encrypt your internet usage. Your company, if you're using your company Wi-Fi on your smartphone, for example, they can see what you were doing on your phone. Um, while you use the Wi-Fi of, of your company. Uh, mobile cell towers actually can log what you were doing. And then of course, hackers and governments have an easy task of checking what you were doing on the internet because there are so many locations where they can just get the information. But most people, of course, use it to use any country Netflix and circumventing geo-blocking, for example, also TV channels. Most TV channels block people from other countries. So you can use it for TV channels, Netflix, HBO, Hulu, uh, Pandora Radio, and also YouTube is different from country to country. So you can use this. And of course, uh, circumvent censorship. There are some cases where internet service providers throttle your speed depending on what you're doing. But if you encrypt everything, they cannot see what you're doing. So they will not throttle your internet probably and even get lower prices on the internet. Then people get the idea, hey, let's try a free VPN. But the first thing you should do before you search for free VPN is to search for free VPN dangerous on Google. And you will find many, many articles from reliable sources which warn you against using free VPN. It's basically getting a free security system for your home from some shady person on the street you don't even know. Would you do that? No. The VPN is a security and safety service and also to get good speeds you need to pay some money the same as for your internet service provider then you get the best service. Paid VPNs have a lot of advantages. I mean they're fast, they have access points in many countries and they have several access points in many countries. So by the way many people of course want to watch the US American Netflix and then they just click here on the United States. But guess what? Then it just chooses New York as the default, but there are 20, 30 other servers. Many people have problems because they just 
try the first location and they don't even try the other ones then they write in the comments like hey it's not working and i asked like okay which server locations did you try and they were like well there's just one no there are quite a lot and if they're not working if several are not working you can just go to the support of expressvpn or whatever vpn you use if you use a a premium VPN then they will have a good support but here at ExpressVPN like down below here support center and then you get to this page and then you can choose if you want a live chat or a troubleshoot somehow and they have a lot of resources to explain to you how to solve problems so I hope I could help you to explain how to change your country and region for Netflix it does not matter where you got your Netflix account, in which country you can change the country by using a VPN service. And then you can use any Netflix country version you desire. This does not work with HBO, by the way. So if you have a specific country version of HBO, you cannot just use a different country version. But you can use a Netflix, uh, you can use a VPN to get the US HBO version then you don't have a problem there. I'm not logging into Netflix right now, but I have many other videos where I do that. So you can just check them and I'm showing you how exactly it works, where I show you where I'm logging into different country Netflix versions. Most people are interested in accessing the US Netflix version. As I mentioned before, below in the description, you find a list of good VPN services. My favorite is ExpressVPN. This is the one which is working best for me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope now you can watch any country Netflix you desire.